and welcome to today's video. My name's Amy if you're new here and um, I am a certified beauty therapist and today I'm going to show you how to do these three super super easy nail art on gel polish. So you're first going to need something to do it on whether that's your nails or if you want to practice on some swatch sticks first or some false tips then that's up to you but first I'm just going to lay them out um, I'm going to do three designs today and I'm going to start off with a white base for all of them. Now, if you're doing this on a normal nail, then just prep the nail first and do everything you normally would. And base coat, as I'm just doing these on the sticks, I went straight in with the gel polish. So we're going to start off with this abstract stamp design. Stamping plates are a great way to just try out nail art, but I like to have a bit of a base for it to pop. So I'm going to just pop one of these gel colours I like and just kind of do a blob design on there and then cure that in the lamp. Um, you want everything to be cured when you're working with stamping. Um, so I'm just going to pop that in to cure and then I'm going to wipe off the inhibition layer, which is the sticky layer on top with just some nail varnish remover or anything you wipe your nails with at the end just to make you have a matte surface. So for this, you're gonna need a stamping polish, a lint roller, a stamping stamp, and a scraper. Um, so I'm just gonna get my lint roller out and just clear off my stamper just by rolling it on the top. I'm then going to get my color of choice. I'm gonna use black and choose what design I want. I'm then going to put the polish on there, just a couple of swipes on there, and then two swipes in a 45 degree angle with my card put it on the stamp and then just stamp it on. I kind of just do a rolling action to get that on there and it looks super good and it looks really impressive. And then remember to clean your plate after every use just to stop it from going in the cracks. I'm then gonna double top coat, which is super important as this just locks the design in and means it won't come off even if they have it on for two weeks. So my next design is this marble sort of pattern. Now you can choose any colour with this. I did a classic white and black, just I think it's super classic. So you just need your white polish, your black gel polish, a fine brush or a dotting tool. I prefer a dotting tool. And then another fine brush to sort of diffuse your lines and then some nail varnish remover. And you're also going to need a palette to put your black polish on. So what you're going to do is you're going to dab a bit of your black gel polish on there. It doesn't matter how it looks, just dab it on. And then you're going to take your dotting tool and your swatch and you're literally just going to draw little wiggly lines. It doesn't matter how messy they are and it doesn't really matter what pattern, whatever you think. Um, you could do less, you could do more. It's completely up to you. The good thing is it's quite buildable. So then while it's still wet, before you've cured it, you're going to get some nail varnish remover, dab off the excess and then just kind of tap over the lines now this does take quite a long time i've actually cut quite a lot of it out it took ages but you're literally just going to dab away at the lines until they're as diffused or as kind of solid as you want this is how i like mine and i'm then going to just cure that in the lamp just to make sure it's all cured before i top coat so I'm then just going to apply one layer of top coat. You don't really need to for this. The gel underneath is cure and it is gel polish we've used. So this final design is sort of a marble with sort of gold leaf around it. So it kind of combines two techniques. So you're going to need your swatch stick, your two polishes of choice. Mine are actually too close in colour together. And then you just need sort of a flat brush and some gold leaf. Um, so as I said, mine are a bit too close together. So when I blended them in, they did kind of blend in together. So you want two colours, but you're just going to dab them onto your palette and then just lightly with another dotting tool or a fine brush just mix them slightly just so you have sort of a marbly effect in there as I say mine were a bit too similar you're then going to scoop that up with your brush and then instead of sort of painting it on you're sort of just going to let it drip down on there and i'm going to just do it in the corner as i like that design um so you're just going to do that and then you're actually going to cure it because again these are gel polishes so you're going to cure that until that's all cured so while that's curing, you're going to get your gold leaf, get out a tiny bit, you don't need much at all, it is quite fiddly. I'm then going to actually use my dotting tool and just my nails to kind of break that apart into little pieces. Um, this won't be precise at all, it kind of just breaks where it wants to. I'm then going to get out my um, swatch and then tab a little tiny bit of gold leaf and just put it around the edge of where I've done that blob. Um, so this is quite fiddly. It does take something to work with. I like to use um, a dotting tool. You can use tweezers and scissors. It's completely up to you, but I do prefer a dotting tool and it kind of just sticks to whatever it's near. So you're literally just going to place it on top, sort of dab it down. And then what I like to do is before I put on my top coat, I actually press it in with my finger just to kind of push it into the gel and then I'm going to top coat 
So after each design is cured with its top coat, I'm then just going to wipe off the inhibition layer. Again, I just use nail varnish remover and then all three of your designs are finished. Now you can do this on every nail if you want to or just on one as sort of a feature. A lot of them are great to sort of mix match and I'll um, post some pictures of different designs I've done with these before. But I really love how these turned out. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to get a thumbs up. Comment if there's any more nail styles you'd like and I'll see you in my next next one. Bye!